Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm doing a remake of my goat milk lavender bars. It's not super complicated but it's super popular and I think it's wonderful. Uh, for the lavender fragrance I'm using this one. It's just lavender fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And it's very uh, not complicated. It's just a straight up lavender, but I think it's nice. It, it's um, I'm not a huge lavender fan, but this is good. I, I like it, and people that do like lavender tend to like this. So anyway, that's the fragrance I'm using, and it behaves well in soap. So for the color, I want to do color swirl, which I always do in this soap as I remake, and I use my red clay, which is sort of a pink. It's a kale and a red. I think it's a red Moroccan clay is what it is. Um, it's got sort of a blushy color. I have two different suppliers, you can see, but it was the red Moroccan, so that's what I'm using. Uh, and to bump up the sort of pinky amping up towards lavender, I'm going to add a touch of this um, Matte Lavender Ultramarine. Did I get that right? I don't have my reading glasses on. Ultramarine powder. So that's what that is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I will just put a touch of this in with the clay and a little distilled water and make like a slurry out of it for the color swirl. Um, what else? And I might put a little titanium dioxide in the unswirled portion just to keep it on the lighter side. Uh, today I am going to be doing a milk in oil goat milk solution. So what that entails is I have a water to lie 50-50 split because the caution when you do a deep water discount or a steep water discount is you can never go below the volume of lye. So whatever weight or volume of sodium hydroxide you use, you need at least that much water or liquid to mix with it. And then anything over that is your, you know, extra. But uh, so I'm going to do a 50-50 distilled water lye, make that solution with my silk fibers and my sodium lactate and all the normal stuff that I do. And I will save off the extra portion for my goat milk and add the goat milk straight to the oils. I think the volume of goat milk that I'm using is it's a lot and it's plenty and I think all the goodness of the goat milk will still come through. So this is my first time doing a goat milk in the oils. And uh, we'll see how it goes. You're coming along with me and we'll give it a go. <laughs> I got these. I want to show you um, on top of my lavender soaps. I always put lavender buds. And I found these on Amazon. And I will try to find the link because look at how beautiful they are. There's not a lot of stems and waste and debris in there. And they're very vibrant color. Um, I've been very pleased with these. And what I discovered is uh, I don't spritz the top of my lavender soap with isopropyl alcohol and <laughs> these retain the color. I've been so pleased with that. I real I unlocked the code because normally um, after I pour my soap and get it all done, I spritz it with isopropyl alcohol to stop with soda ash. And with the lavender buds, it turns them brown and they kind of look like mouse poops on top. But uh, <laughs> I stopped doing that and they retain the color. And it, aren't they gorgeous? So I'll leave a link for these down below and uh, <laughs> you'll come along with me as we try to maintain the lavender bud look and not the other alternative look. I'm going to get everything pulled together, get my hair pulled back, and let's make some classic goat milk and lavender soap. So while I'm waiting for my lye water solution to cool off all the way, I'm going to go ahead and get my oils prepped with all the additives that I want in there. So here is my organic farm fresh goat's milk that I have thawed and water discounted or milk discounted if you will from the lye solution. So um, my lye is actually 50-50 uh, split between lye crystals and water for a very steep concentration and then this makes up the rest of the volume of my liquid so for, of my goat's milk. So I'm going to go ahead and just add this right into my oils. Um, and it does turn out to be a little less goat's milk uh, than if I do my normal way with the lye, but I actually am excited to do this to see how the color remains. Um, it's still got plenty of goat's milk in there, so <laughs> I don't feel like I'm shortchanging any of the bars. So for the rest of the additives, I'm going to add my colloidal oats, which goes in just about all my soaps. Nice, generous two tablespoons, and my kale and clay will go in everything and then just for the colored portion I will put my rose clay um, for a color swirl in here. Uh, I do have my lavender fragrant oil is in here and I'm going to go ahead and get these dry ingredients blended in with the milk and let it sort of sit and anchor and absorb while my lye solution finishes cooling. All 
All right, I'm ready to go forward here with my uh, lye solution. So uh, in here I have distilled water, I have cane sugar dissolved before I add the lye crystals, and to the lye I have tussis silk fibers and sodium lactate. So that's what's going on in there, and I want to show you my little, um, this is my combination of rose clay and a little lavender ultramarine oxide slurry I made with just a little bit of water here, just to kind of um, help the clay dissolve or not dissolve but absorb some of the fluid so hopefully I won't get clumps in there so that's my little color slurry for the, the swirl portion so all that being said I'm going to get my lye solution in here and get to mixing All right, and I'm just going to hand stir this to emulsion and we'll split off for the color swirl and then stick a blend as needed. So it's the next day and I can't wait to get into this beautiful goat milk lavender and see the um, buds. I don't know if you can pick it up, but they kept, even though this was covered and went through gel phase, the buds kept that nice purple hue uh, because I didn't spray them with rubbing alcohol. So that is a good thing. <laughs> Let's get this out of the mold and see what we've got going on the inside.
right, let's get into these awesome lavender bars and see how that swirl came out. It's very pretty. And I was really liking that um, milk in the oil uh, method of doing it. I feel like um, it was very easy and not as complicated prepping the lye solution. I kind of like the, uh, you know, milk and the oils going there. And this um, red Moroccan clay with the oxide, I think is just a beautiful lavender color. I'm happy with how that came out. Very wispy. And so I'm cutting with the lavender buds on the downside here. I've tipped it on its side to help prevent drag marks through the soap. Um, it doesn't prevent all of them, but it does definitely reduces some. And it just makes for a cleaner finish on the bar after the cut. <laughs> 